big Lola in that orange bar. Yep, I did exactly that. I Onto my fishing rod. That. <laughs> Focus. Onto my fishing rod. Using an actual fishing hook. Like, what is it called? Fishing hook loop. I also taped a bunch of Easter eggs onto this and let let it loose. And actually caught one of the kids whenever one of them kicked it and it went around the other one's egg. And I was like, Mom! I caught one. <laughs> I swear this was one of the funniest things. I just straight up duct taped it to the end of the string and started casting. That that was. We still have all the all the Easter eggs left uncracked because we were having too much fun just taping up the fishing rod and see if we could crack it first. I also occasionally put on a, a little Easter egg capsule with a little chocolate inside to be a little bit more so the kids get a little bit more and, like competitive. Also, yeah, this, this fishing rod's now officially a cat toy. This isn't the one I used to go fishing, but this is the only one that is actually still in working condition. Well, at least it was. This was gold. And it was in working condition. And the second fishing rod I picked up. First one I picked up was the one I used when I was like seven. It was rusted. Like, completely rusted away. And still an inch taller than me. How in the world did I hold that? <laughs> As you can see. Does approve of this as a toy. You can probably hear the jingling. And whenever it's time to put up, it just neatly. Okay, that time not so neatly since I did it super duper violently. But normally it just rests like that. And I think that's pretty cool. Also, I tied a banana to it. But that's. That was yesterday, not today. I could tie so many more other things to it. I just need to come up with what to tie onto it. Or you know what? Leave a comment and maybe I'll just tie it onto the banana. I mean, not the banana. It's late. Leave me alone.